Hey folks, Steve here from Tech Support again. Today I'm going to tell you how you can use our AV over IP system as a KVM extender on your local network. This guy will take a 4K30 signal and take a couple of USB control sources, send them over your network uh, so you can control a computer in a different room. Setup is very simple, requires no software setup whatsoever. Just flip a couple of switches on this guy, plug it into your fully managed network switch and you're up and running. So without further ado, Let's see how we get this done. Okay, so our first step here is to connect our control box to the network. This guy discovers all the devices on the network and automatically assigns them IP addresses. So we're gonna get this guy powered up. We're gonna plug it into the network. It comes set to DHCP out of the box. So it will grab an address on your local network and uh, you can access the setup utility that way. You don't need to do that for this setup that we're doing here because we're gonna hard code these guys to their own independent channels. Our next step is to grab our transmitter and we need to hard code our ID channel here. So I'm going to set this first dip switch to one that gives this guy an independent address, which means no setup required because I did it with the switches. The other switch I need to set is the transceiver switch here. I'm going to make sure that is in the transmit position. Now I simply just need to connect this guy to the network. This does require a fully managed network switch to operate properly. So make sure uh, you're not just plugging it into your basic little home router. We need our HDMI input here from our computer, which uh, needs to be a 4K 30 frames per second setting. And finally, we are going to connect our USB cable from the computer to the host port. So this will now be the KVM host. Notice we're connected to the computer there. That's all powered up. And now all we need to do is go set up our receiver and we'll be in business. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our receiver. The first step is to set our channel ID with the dip switches right here. I'm going to put the first one in the down position that locks this thing onto the same channel as my transmitter and ensures that we don't lose our signal. Second thing I'm going to do is flip this transceiver switch into the down position. That makes this guy a receiver. Now all I have to do is plug in my cables. So my first connection here is going to be this wireless USB receiver for a keyboard and mouse. The second is the control interface for my touch panel TV. Now I just need to simply plug in my ethernet and my HDMI out cable. We're feeding through this multi-viewer switch here, but uh, you can just go direct, can disregard that. Uh, other than that, we are ready to go. We just wait for this guy to boot up and we'll be up and running. As you can see here, we've got everything hooked up. I'm looking at a beautiful 4K picture from my computer. It's completely latency free, so it's nice and responsive for anything that I wanna do here. Uh, perfect for demonstrating websites for presentations, that kind of thing. Uh, if you need to, you can always use your wireless keyboard and mouse that you plug in with your USB dongle and you get full functionality with that. If I were to come up here and type in, works perfectly and instantly. There's no delay or anything. It's just a great solution. So uh, we're really excited about this. We hope you guys are too. If you have more questions for us, please feel free to reach out to our expert sales team. They'd love to give you some more information about this product and uh, how it can benefit you. So until next time, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you then.